So again, well, a lot of people know how to use decimal degrees. But many people, many people don't know what degrees, minutes, and seconds are. All right, it's a different, it's a, you know, it's just another way of representing an angle. But we use, this is what surveyors use, is degrees, minutes, and seconds. And I'm just going to give an example. We'll say we have an angle of 179 degrees, 52 minutes, and 36 seconds. So degrees, we know degrees go up to, what, 360 in a circle, right? 360, they can go up to whatever, we, you know, they want, but 360 in a circle. So, you know, surveys don't usually use a, um, a degree larger than 360 degrees. That doesn't really make sense. And then our minutes only go up to 60. There's always only 60 minutes. And the same with this. It only goes up to 60 seconds. Right, but at 60, we wouldn't say, we wouldn't say this angle would, you know, an angle would be, give it another example, it wouldn't be 179 degrees, 52 minutes, and 60 seconds, right? Why would, we wouldn't do this. We would say that is 179 degrees, 53 minutes, 0 seconds. Right? Because there is 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree and 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. 60 seconds in 1 minute. And there's 360 seconds is equal to one degree. Right? If you have one degree, let's change colors, if you have one degree and you want to get to seconds, it would go there's sixty there's um sixty minutes in one degree and there's 60 seconds in one minute. Right, so we this would get to us to seconds. Degrees would cancel out, minutes would cancel out, we're left with seconds, but we're multiplying 60 times 60, which is 3600. Right, that's where we get our 36 sec, 360, 3600 seconds in one degree. Okay, so right back to this, we wouldn't, but right, we wouldn't represent it this way. We'd represent it this way. Same with we wouldn't say it's one seventy nine sixty uh, fifty two, right? Well, one seventy nine degrees, minutes, and seconds. We would say it's. 180 degrees, zero, zero minutes, 52 seconds. That's how we represent this, this angle. So there's, you know, a little bit, you know, you gotta kind of think about it a little bit, but once you, once you get it, um, you'll be going along good. Okay, so I think everybody understands this much. In the next video, I'm going to teach about how to go from uh, decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds, and then back again. So, I'll see you soon.